All right, so Cryptic Studios has implemented what I consider to be a really stupid feature where all of your duty officers can now be dumped into fleet projects. Except for some reason it doesn't seem to work properly yet. They haven't finished ironing out all of the bugs. Anyway, in order to prevent it, you have to right-click on a duty officer and select change protected status on, but for me, most of the time, that's not working. I have to click multiple times to get the pop-up to pop up. And then when you turn it on, this little check mark with a shield pops up on the icon on the portrait to let you know it's protected. Now, they don't give you any way to batch process this, so I've got 149 duty officers. I have to right click on every single one of them and protect them to keep them from getting dumped into fleet projects now or just never donate officers to fleet projects. And we have no way to do this more than one at a time. We have to click right click on one and select change protected status to on but it doesn't even work properly. I swear, Cryptic didn't bother QA testing this. I swear they didn't. And this is, this is on top of the controversy of them releasing the feature quietly without notifying anyone. Apparently they don't know how work from home works yet. And whoever's job it was to, to tell the person who posts the change logs what the change log was didn't bother telling them. Which is really unfortunate. So real quick, let's... You know how you always say, try restarting first and see, it fi see if it fixes it? Let's log out and log back in and see what that does. I guess there's no way to sort by unprotected only. Unfortunately, no. Not that I saw. Well, I think I've gotten almost halfway. Oh, look at that. Still broken. Yep, still broken. All right, well, we'll try a full restart of the game. be just my luck if the game wouldn't launch again or something stupid like that. I'd sit here and laugh. <laughs> that would be Star Trek Online in a nutshell right there. Mm -hmm. Always buggy. Kind of makes you wonder if they even have a QA team. Um... What the hell just happened? I double clicked on my character and it launched the create a character thing. Not gonna ask. I'll go back and review the footage later and see if my mouse slipped or something. Uh, roster, there we go. In order to go away. Oh, nope, it's still broken. You broke it. Oh, I think Cryptic broke it. It's not Garrick. I'm going to have to to live with this broken right click. Through over a hundred officers. This is just lovely. Thank you, Cryptic. Thank you for implementing completely broken features and disregarding QA procedures. 
Okay, a little salty if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Just... I mean, it's not like one screw-up here, it's, it's multiple screw-ups. Honestly, what I would rather have them done is just remove bridge officers as a requirement for fleet projects. It does not make any sense, no sense whatsoever, that you have to dump dozens of officers, which you apparently cannot even do at the moment, into fleet projects. Yeah, this is broken. It doesn't even work. I guess you can dump dilithium in, but that's it. Which honestly, it's, that sounded like, from what they said on the forums, the whole reason for doing this was to encourage people to put dilithium in, to make it a new dilithium sink for all the people who have too much dilithium. But I'm not certain if it's ever actually going to work that way. And honestly, if that's what they wanted, if that was their end goal, why didn't they just make it so that why didn't they just remove? Why didn't they just remove the officer requirement and replace it with dilithium? Why is it still here? Like, what are we doing? Are we are we grinding these officers up into into some kind of bridge officer paste? I, I don't get it. Why do we have to dump so many officers into fleet projects? How do you say bridge officer paste? That sounds like something from lower decks. Never watched it. You should. It's really good. And I watched the first season of Picard and the first season of Discovery. Honestly, I'm I'm done with New Trek after that. That was that was enough. I I've, I've had Star Trek ruined badly enough for me. And honestly, it wasn't even Picard that ruined it. It was Discovery. Screw Discovery and the people who made it. Horrible show. Horrible writing. Horrible directing. I mean, the acting wasn't too bad. The ship design was horrible. Whoever designed, decided to redesign the Klingons was an idiot. They should not be in charge of making a Star Trek show. He's salty. <laughs> yes, salty about Star Trek altogether. The game, the shows... Go. I'm what about three quarters of the way through I'll get through this eventually but I'll probably continue to be annoyed by it for a long time yeah, Just, and I'm going to have to listen to him bitch about it yes yes because I probably won't make another YouTube video cryptic if you're still watching this if you watched it at all please just just remove this feature or hire a QA team because I, I seriously doubt that you actually have one at this point. Listen, if you guys want to make some improvements, let me suggest something right now. Get rid of the subspace party nullifier. <laughs> yes, he gets upset when people can't be forced to dance. It annoys me. <clears throat> obviously, you don't like fun or something. Exactly. That's that's why I absolutely love right clicking twenty times on the same duty officer to to protect them and doing that one hundred and forty nine times. Right, you're doing that because you're salty. And you want something to bitch about? Oh, I have plenty to bitch about. Cryptic Studios gave me plenty of reason to, to bitch. Well, you know what I should do? I should use that AI uh, chat GPT thing to write the video description and title. That would be funny. Did I send you a screenshot of the, <laughs> of the video... Uh, description or whatever or no it was an intro to a video that i was thinking of doing yep yeah did you see how it toned down what i said mm -hmm. what i wrote 
That was pretty funny. It was like, yeah, we need to save this guy from the YouTube algorithm. And from his own stupidity. Come on. And then sometimes I get like three in a row like that. And it just breaks again. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with the mouse moving. If I hold the mouse completely steady, it still happens. Assimilated snowmen are approaching the gate to the Winter Wonderland. They will arrive in one minute. Funny, I don't have any good medical officers, except for, like, the doctor. It's even good. I wouldn't even know. I don't look at the officers. Aren't Epo's adorable? Oh, dear God, no. Why do I have these? Maybe they're for, um... I bet I actually paid energy credits for these guys back in the day. I bet I did. Epo's... Cuddly and friendly Epos. I hate the Epo lady. I'm just glad I'm standing where I can't hear her. Or I would be bitching about that too. Okay, is that... You know, there's, there's no way to see if you've actually protected all of them either unless you just scroll through the entire list. Mm-hmm. This is really poorly handled. This whole thing. I don't think Cryptic thought through this at all. I think their product design team needs to to stop and think about their decisions and the changes they're proposing before they actually propose them. Oh no, wait, that one is I couldn't tell because her face is the same color as the checkbox. Our Epo's adorable. <laughs> I always kind of wondered where the sound files for her were. Although I have a feeling that if you edit the sound files, they might get a little cantankerous with you. Although I really don't know if this game has anything like an anti-cheat that modifies or checks for file modifications and, and then prevents you from launching the game or whatever. All right, that looks like all of them. So in conclusion, Cryptic, get your shit together.